What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking Marvel MCU movies from Phase 2. Let's get right into this. Okay, so once again, I'm really excited for today's video because in the previous video I did Phase 1 and I ranked all the movies that were in Marvel MCU Phase 1. Today I'm going to be focusing on Phase 2 and there's a pretty good lineup of movies. This is where I started to really go and watch the movies and started to really get into them and get into the story of how they're all basically connecting in some points. Now it's mostly Phase 3 that you get a lot more of the stories connecting, but you do have to watch some of the movies from Phase 1 and Phase 2 to get all of the details for movies for Phase 3. So starting off with Iron Man 3, this was an awesome movie, especially after what happened with the first Avengers movie. This was awesome to go back to an Iron Man solo movie and to have him basically take control once again. So there's a lot of action in this. The story was phenomenal to see how far Iron Man has advanced since the first movie. Iron Man 3 was definitely a great movie because of the action and the story. I think it was phenomenal. I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. Next is one that I can barely remember, and it is Thor, The Dark World. The reason for that is because back then, at the time, I was never really into Thor, so I can't remember everything that happened. It was an action movie. It was awesome, and again, I like the actor that plays Thor. He has a great sense of humor, and he does great fight scenes, so I'm going to rank this one a 6.5 out of 10 because, for me, ranking these... I love doing that, I just can't remember all the details for this movie. Next up is Captain America The Winter Soldier, and again, at the time I, that this movie came out, I didn't watch it, I waited a couple years to watch it. It was a really good movie, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to rank this one 7 out of 10 because I enjoyed the movie, I thought it was a great movie, and it had a great cast in it. Next up is Guardians of the Galaxy. When this movie was announced, whenever I started watching the trailers, they were phenomenal. I honestly absolutely loved them. Uh, it has, number one, Chris Pratt, which is one of my favorite actors currently because he just has a great sense of humor. The comedy in the movies and what he brings to the big screen is amazing. The fact that Dave Bautista is in it, I'm a huge wrestling fan. He was one of my favorite wrestlers back in the day. And the fact that he's in acting now and he plays in Guardians of the Galaxy as well was awesome. And a couple other actors are in it as well that I'm a huge fan of. So Guardians of the Galaxy had a lot going for it for the cast. The movie was awesome. The fact that they defended the world and the fact that it gives a little bit of backstory of how they basically got together and banded together was awesome. I loved everything about this movie. I rank it pretty high. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10 because... Honestly, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite movies in the Marvel MCU, so 8 out of 10 for me. Next up is Avengers Age of Ultron, and I believe this is where they did a lot of destruction um, in the city. I can't remember if that is Age of Ultron or Captain America Civil, Civil War. I can't remember which one. I think it's Age of Ultron because... Basically, the machines and everything that's... I can't remember if that's that movie or not. Um, it ties into Spider-Man later on for Phase 3. But anyways, Age of Ultron was awesome. Basically, once again, the Avengers come together and take down Ultron. So, I, I, I again, it's bugging me right now that I can't remember if it was Civil War that all the destruction happened or Age of Ultron. Again, I'm going to rank this one pretty high, 7.5 out of 10, because I really enjoyed the movie. I'm just forgetting which part I'm thinking about was for this movie or which one was for Civil War. So we'll worry about that for Phase 3. And the last movie for Phase 2 is Ant-Man, the first Ant-Man movie. Paul Rudd is an amazing actor. I didn't realize how old he was, but he's always been in great movies. He's always had this very comedic aspects to his roles where it just breaks the ice and it adds depth to his characters whatever he plays in movies so having him play as Ant-Man was awesome the things he says are amazing and they're just hilarious for me and I love everything about the gadgets that Ant-Man has where he can throw a disc and it can just just by touching an object with that disc 
it can either enlarge it or shrink that object. The fact that Ant-Man himself can enlarge or shrink when need be. Everything about that is awesome to me. It is not a character that whenever I was into comic books that I was really into and really paid attention to. But whenever I seen that it's Paul Rudd in the movies, whenever I started watching the trailers, I decided to give it a chance. And honestly, it's amazing. The story is amazing. Everything about Ant-Man movies are awesome. So I'm going to rank it higher than anything else for I, that I did for Phase 2. I'm going to rank it 8.5 out of 10 because it is awesome. So for me, for Phase 2, my favorite movies, of course, because of how I ranked them, are going to be Ant-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy. Just because I've always been into comedy. I've shared that on the channel before. And both Paul Rudd and Chris Pratt have a comedic aspect to any role they've played in any movies they've played. So bringing that with Star-Lord for Chris Pratt... And for Paul Rudd with Ant-Man was awesome and it was a great touch that Marvel did. So this was me ranking Phase 2 movies for the Marvel MCU. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you would rank each movie. Um, honestly, I'm really excited to share my thoughts on Phase 3. And I'm really excited in the future whenever Phase 4 is finally on its way to finally rank Phase 4. But honestly... When it comes to Phase 4, I'm going to wait until Phase 4 is almost complete before I start ranking those movies because there's no point if they're still making movies for Phase 4 to start ranking them. So it's going to be a few years before I rank Phase 4, but I'm definitely going to do it. I'm really excited, and hopefully I'll share my thoughts on each movie in the meantime if that's something that interests you. But the next movie for this series is going to be for Phase 3, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.